December 14th, and Pastor is saying to us, Custodians of Eternal Blessings. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. The Christian is blessed in all things. He is blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, God didn't say to Abraham, I will bless you and make you lucky. Rather, he said, I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And this is what you need, the consciousness that you are blessed and are a blessing. You are empowered to be successful. The ability to prosper in all things has been invoked in your life. It's inherent in you and works all the time. Everywhere you go, there's favor. Your steps are always ordered of the Lord. You don't go anywhere by chance, and you don't go anywhere alone, for He's in you and with you always. This is the heritage of the seed of Abraham. It worked for the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They were blessed in all things and bequeathed the same blessings to their generations. It's even better with us today. The Bible says, And if ye be Christ, and then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. Galatians chapter 3 verse 29. Ours is a better covenant, established upon better promises. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 6. Promises that have all been fulfilled in Christ. You ought to know, like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that you are blessed and the custodian of blessings. Make this your consciousness and confession. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, thank you for your divine blessings in my life. The supernatural elixir, the divine elements at work in me, takes me far and beyond the natural limits always. I refuse to struggle like the rest of the world, for I'm the seed of Abraham. I'm blessed and I have the advantage. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, and Galatians chapter 3, verses 7 to 9. For the one-year Bible reading plan, Please read 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 to 14, and Ecclesiastes chapter 6 to 8. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 22, verses 54 to 62, and 2 Samuel chapter 2. Rhapsody of reality.